Hey everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the background of a view using a SwiftUI color picker here. So when we tap on our color picker and we choose one of these colors, you can see the background is changing to the color that we have picked. And let's get straight into it and I've just created a new SwiftUI project here. And the first thing we're going to do is actually define a variable background color and let's set this to be white by default. And we need to have this color stretch across our whole view here. So let's remove the placeholder hello world text here and we can have our background color. And then we can type ignores safe area. And this will have it stretch across the whole of the area. And we can have an overlay on our background color here. And our overlay is going to be the color picker. And this is a native SwiftUI component here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pass in a title. So I'm going to call mine color picker and it takes a binding of color. So what we want to do is change our background color here to a state variable. And then we can pass in this state variable as a binding into our color picker. And that will mean that the color picker will then change our background color and our content view will update to reflect that change. So let's run this and see what we get with this code here. And you can see that it's looking pretty much like the example we had at the start where we can select a color here and it will have the same effect where it will change the color. And if you don't like this layout, you can add some padding to your color picker or you can have a frame with a width of whatever size you want on it and then it will probably look a little bit more palatable there and you can have the same effect like so. So that's how you might want to use a color picker to change things and if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you for the next one.